Hello everybody and welcome to Iridium Rock and Metal Reviews and it's reaction time. Yet again, more new music. So on Frontiers Records, yet again, we've got the new song from A Sweet Oblivion featuring Jeff Tate. So if anyone doesn't know, Sweet Oblivion bought an album out, I think it was a couple of years ago um, with Jeff Tate. The whole album with Jeff Tate singing, he's not guesting on it. Well, he's guesting, but he's singing of all the whole album, not sharing any vocals. And it was a great return to form from Jeff Tate. You know, the best things he's been on since Promised Land. You know, if anyone watches the channel will know um, that I'm a, I love Queensryche, um, but did not love that period for all those years. No, we're not talking about Queensryche. We've got to talk about Jeff Tate. If, if I ever had to sit down and talk about my best vocalist, and I do talk about my best vocalist, but I haven't actually put them in any sort of order of what, who's my favourite. Back then, in the 80s, without a doubt, he was at the top of his game, at the top of the tree, one of the best, competing with the best. Absolutely fantastic voice. And he's still got a good voice. Uh, it's really the music that he wrote. You know, during those times in Queensryche, I just didn't didn't get on with it. So um, he bought this Sweet Oblivion album out, and if you haven't heard it, it's look, it's not Queensryche in the eighties, but you know, you could argue that the Queensryche now ain't Queensryche in the eighties. They're different and they're fucking brilliant. But you know, to beat them albums, Operation Mind Crime, Rage for Order, them albums are just like some of the best albums that ever been written. You know, so we're not expecting that, but what we are expecting is some decent music, you know, from Jeff Tate, as there should be. And I haven't liked his Operation Mindcrime band much either, but the Sweet Oblivion album was fucking excellent. So, the new song is called Strong Pressure. It's off an album called Relentless, which is coming out in April, April the 9th, actually. Um, the problem this album could have which i've been reading about is that um the guy who helped write the last album which was simon mularoni or mularoni uh, of dgm the band dgm he done a lot of the songwriting and the production on the last album and people are saying you know will it be the same without him being involved because he's not this time around um jeff tate's got an involvement in the writing on this one could that be an issue? Is he going to write stuff along the same lines as his band Operation Mindcrime or that Queensryche stuff? You know, I don't know. This is really interesting. Listen to this. I'm hoping it's going to be along the same lines as the last Sweet Oblivion record. Because it was great. It was absolutely great. So you've got Jeff Tate on vocals. Aldo Lenoboil <laughs> on guitars. Antonio Agiati on keyboards, Luigi Andrioni on bass, and Michel Sani on drums. I'm sure I've heard of that drummer. Is he not drumming on that new um, Sunstorm album? I don't know. Maybe I'm getting confused. But Jeff Tate's, like I said, had a lot in the hand in the songwriting on this one. So that could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. Hopefully, hopefully he's think he's got that frame of mind to think what we want as fans and we, what we want Jeff Tate to be singing. Most of us, you know, I apologize to those fans who love the Operation Mind Crime Band and love everything after Promised Land. I, I apologize to those people, but you are, are in the minority. We want the, the Jeff Tate back, you know, that we used to love, who was on the Sweet Oblivion album, by the way, not so long ago. So, excited about hearing this, a bit worried as well at the same time. <laughs> Sweet Oblivion, strong pressure. Here we go.
Greenleaf. Let's give it a quick stop there. So, yeah, I like it. I, I think it's good. It, it sounds very similar to that, to the last Sweet Oblivion album, which I'm happy about. I love the guitar work, man. I mean, I'm there listening to Jeff Tate, thinking, yeah, his, his voice sounds quite good. You know, he's, obviously, look, Jeff Tate's not going to sing like he, you're not going to hear him belt out Take Hold of the Flame like he did in fucking Tokyo in 1982 or three, whatever it was. But, you know, this is, but you, you want to hear his style, you know, and the, the sort of tone of his voice, and you can hear that in this. So there's no problem. I, I like his, I love his voice. I love Jeff Tate's voice. I always have done. But what I'm really impressed with is the guitar in this. Through them, through them verses, it's a real cool riffing going on. You know, that that's the standout for me so far on this. I think it's great. Little couple of odd time signatures there in, in the chorus. If you notice that, a uh, bit taking you off beat a little bit, but that's cool. You know, it's always good it to hear Jeff Tate with a little bit of progressive music in there. Not too much where it's totally out of the groove and just fucking weird like he has done over the last few years. I'm talking little odd time signatures that are a little clever, but don't take you out of that rhythm of the song. And it definitely doesn't. I haven't been really paying attention to the lyrics much, I'm afraid, because I'm... Just listening to the music but um i like it i think it's got a good beat to it sounds very similar uh to what we had on the the last album so you know i'm happy with that that's good hopefully the rest of the album will be like that but um yet to hear the guitar solo so hopefully if there's anything like that you know the, the guitarist guitaring sounds brilliant i think this guy aldo lonobile Lenobile <laughs> on the guitars. I think he's worked with quite a few things across Frontiers. I'm, I think, I'm not sure, but he's a great guitarist. Absolutely great. You know, um, not disappointed at all. I love it. I think it's a great song, and hopefully all them people out there, you know, that have lost faith a little bit in Jeff Tate, this might bring it back a bit. Hopefully, but here we go for the rest of the song. Looking forward to the guitar solo if there is one.
hello vamp right so yeah enjoyed it i thought it was cool the guitar solo it was a clever um technical guitar solo you know i mean it, I, I did expect that after hearing what i was hearing during the song you know very technical player i thought it was going to be a bit more melody in the solo i know i'm being a bit picky but when i listen to solos i, I want to hear um like a real good melody like a song within a song if you like something to hum it was more about the technical side on that solo which was cool you know i'm sure there's gonna be plenty of melodic solos on the album but it was good the, the guitar in was fucking absolutely brilliant you know there was not a problem with it at all real technical um guitarist musically absolutely brilliant all the way across i love jeff tate's vocals i think he you know i think he's what he does now is he keeps it like the restraint there because he obviously he's getting older and i think he just doesn't go too mad with it and i think he just keeps within his comfort zone and i think he sounds great because it's not just about how high you can sing it's about your tone of voice and all that and he's, all, he's still got that so that's cool right i like it what do you think of the new sweet oblivion song um do you think it's better than the stuff we've been getting from jeff tate you know apart from the sweet oblivion stuff before that for operation mind crime for all the queens right 90s late 90s 2000s what do you think of it compared to that let me know in the comments below please and if you want to subscribe please press the red button bottom right hand corner